that they move like this Don't sip no wobbles, I sip on Tris Niggas ain't mad, I do my shit Number one rule, don't let no be See, all on line, say, where did you go? Baby, I really don't know See, all on line, talk about my heart You say that you ball it, but nigga, you bro Tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta today. We got a very special guest. Shy boy, shy. What's good with y'all? Well, hell yeah, man. For the people that don't know where you from. New York City, baby. New York, New York. Yeah, man. raised in North Carolina, though. We fuck, we fuck with y'all. Both so, y'all. so you back and forth type shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type shit. Hell yeah. And um, who you got here with um, your boy? I got my man, Kanashi K. Producer or what? Nah, it's my nigga. It's my nigga. And he might well become a producer guy now. <laughs> yeah, he made music too, type shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Music? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but so y'all, y'all out here in Atlanta networking and shit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was up, man. I know, guy, now I've been talking to you for a good at a minute now to try to get down here in Atlanta and yeah, shit. Yeah, I told y'all I was going to come, bro. Hell yeah. But I ain't going to lie, like, I be missing a lot of opportunities like that, like not pulling up to the artists, because this is a lot of artists that, you know, they really don't, they want to come to Atlanta, but they really don't like, man, what the hell I'm going to go down there for, you know? Mm-hmm. For an interview, then leave, you know, type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's why, I like, I'm going to start pulling up next one when that little COVID shit go down a little bit, you know? Yeah, that, that shit, that COVID shit crazy. Hell yeah. That shit got down, calm down, next thing, you know. Right back up. Killing everybody right now. <laughs> hell yeah. How did, what the hell you been, like, what you be doing out there? In, like, in New York or North Carolina? Uh, shit. <coughs> yeah, making music and working. Mm-hmm. Shit, shot a video. Been trying to shoot a couple of them. Uh, trying to get this nigga a video done as soon as we get back type shit. We've been making plans, mm-hmm. trying to get uh, trying to get up my nigga overpaid and all that, and, you know, type mm-hmm. shit. I'm trying to work. Hell yeah. And what 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 brings you down here to Atlanta? Uh, shit. for this and yeah, trying to network with niggas. This your first time down here, or you been down here? Yeah, like first second time down here. Oh, for real? Yeah, crazy. Okay. <laughs> you fucking with it? Yeah, I mean in Atlanta, yeah. I mean I've been to Georgia and shit before, but yeah. Atlanta, yeah. This, yeah, I ain't really been downtown, throughout the city, all that. Yeah, that yeah. Shit. shit. you got to come in the summer where everybody just be out and about, man. Like, I mean everybody still be out here, but you know it's a little bit cold out here, so everybody be ducked off and shit. But in the summer, you gonna see a lot of artists out there. Hell yeah. Especially like you go to these studios down here, man. You gonna run into so much people you don't even Bro, know. That's what we was thinking about doing, cause we've been. Like you were thinking about going different mm-hmm. places and shit, networking mm-hmm. with different niggas, and you know, going yeah. back it just builds up like reputation and shit. Yeah, yeah. But you know, Atlanta, like, I'm surprised. Like, you know, they they hide in the underground right now too. Like, it's a lot of artists from Atlanta getting signed. Like, damn, that's crazy, man. But I know New York, they they going crazy out there too. You know, what is that? North Carolina? Do they got an underground scene out there? Um, yeah. Kind of like he's in different places of the state type shit. Like yeah. You gotta be in certain places to find certain talent. Or more of what you say, the street side of the music industry, like popping up there. Yeah, like yeah, hip hop shit, like trap shit, like yeah, like um, what's the name, the baby type shit. When yeah. I, I ain't gonna say David, like the Pusha type shit. Pusha, yeah, Pusha, yeah, Pusha, <laughs> yeah free Pusha <laughs> shit, man. Like some yeah, I'm finna kill you type <laughs> shit. Nah, like. hell yeah. So man, the, the name where you get the name from? Let's start off with that. Uh, Shad Boy Shack. Uh, we was in middle school. Yeah, I, I told this story like three times too. Like it was me and my nigga Paris. Mm-hmm. We was thinking about being like a little uh, group or whatever. It was like me, him, and another nigga. Yeah. And he made up a little a little fucked up name called Sad Little Horse. I was like, Sad Little Horse. <laughs> Sad Little Horse. I was like, What the fuck, nigga? What type of shit you want? He's a Sad Little Horse. <laughs> I was like, Damn, I'ma just be shy. I'm just be shy boy Shaq. I'm add that shit to my name, but I'm still gonna be myself. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then after a while, he changed his name. Then we started making music. We wasn't really hot, nigga. I was getting five, ten plays a song. Now we in the thousands. By days, nigga, we good now. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, like, uh, middle school, like, middle school, like, going into high school, that's what really got me the name. Cause I had, like, Lil Shag. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was doing some, like, meme rap shit, nigga. Like, back, rap. back in the day when I was getting no plays, I was doing meme rap shit just for fun. Cause I didn't think I was gonna go nowhere yeah. with it. But when I started picking shit up and actually taking it serious, Niggas started listening. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to just start focusing on that type of shit. Yeah. Like, you the second person that said mean rap. What the hell is that? <laughs> like, uh, I, I forgot who else said that shit that blew up off that shit, too. I'm like, what the hell is me? I forgot what I, he told me, but I forgot. 
Is it like a genre or some shit that, that was created in the underground scene or what? Like, yeah, like 20, 2016, 2015. So that shit, shit fell out? Uh, that like, shit. Kind of, yeah, it, it's bringing its way back, but it's doing it in a different, like a different what way. What is it though? Like what? Like trolling or some shit or what? Like, like you shit. listen to like them, like Detroit type songs, right? Yeah. Like, bro, just be talking shit on the beat. It's like oh. that, but they just be doing that shit on funny beats. Yeah, yeah, it's just like that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I ain't know what the hell, yeah. I like, then that's crazy. You the second person ever mentioned that shit, like. Yeah, that shit, that shit funny, though. Well, go ahead. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, it's funny, like, when you get into it, but, like, once like, niggas stop trying to listen to that shit, they don't like all that shit after a while, and you got to mm-hmm. start bringing them new shit. Yeah, so why would I say, what if you, like you said, blow up off that shit, now people going to want you to keep rapping off that shit, because what if you, like, change that shit? They going to be like, what the hell? We ain't, we ain't trying to listen to your other lyrical, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, uh, with that type of shit, it got to be a certain genre style that you do. Yeah. Because... Niggas can get out here and get on like a can can type beat and just rip it and nobody will fuck with it. But yeah. if can can get on that same beat and do the same thing, bro, it's just about how you do it. Facts. It's about how you sound and how you do it. They can somebody else can do that shit and everybody will love it. Mm-hmm. And you do it, and anybody fucking with it. Facts, facts. Hell yeah. And like you say, you know, at first when you first start, you start getting like hundreds of maybe not hundreds, but like tens and fifteen plays and like what was the process of getting them plays to all the way to like the thousands? Just Working like every day, like <laughs> I go like I miss you guys. This nigga, I miss, how many like, years would you say like of work, like putting in work, with, or like month, or months, or how would you say? If you <clears throat> being like, if you coming from ten to fifteen, if you want to mm-hmm. grow, start like marketing yourself to people. Mm-hmm. Like, don't just market yourself to an audience. Market yourself to artists too, because so, yeah. bigger artists can fuck with you. They be like, oh yeah, let me get this little nigga some love, leg room. I'm gonna get him in the door too. Like, that's what happened with me. Yeah. Like, I was coming up of, like, only, like, a thousand followers on SoundCloud, a couple uh, thousand on Instagram, 200 followers on Spotify, song got a million streams, famous niggas was following me back, DMing me, saying they fuck with me, sharing my shit. And I was like... Off, was off SoundCloud, right? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So how is the artist, like, because, you know, you, you came off SoundCloud, right? So how do you, like, jump off SoundCloud and, like, start expanding from, like... Just strictly SoundCloud, cause you know it's some artists that just get stuck on SoundCloud. You know they they go to other platforms that they, they don't do so well. The fan base don't follow them to other platforms. You know. Yeah, it's, it's about the wave, like mm-hmm. because I could be like on some hyper pop shit, some glitchy shit. Mm-hmm. Them niggas gonna go to Spotify when I drop it on Spotify. Yeah. Now if I drop some shit on SoundCloud and they go crazy and I can't drop it on Spotify, they gonna stay over there, cause that's mm-hmm. the only way they can get to it. Facts. Yeah. So you just gotta. I don't know, run your pockets up and get some leases and <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, sometimes that shit be hard to got now, you know. Yeah, shit, that's what I've been trying to do, bro. Then, like, um, then especially, like, some beats, like, some producers don't even tell them, like, you know, they sample shit, and, you know, then it comes to, like, you drop the song thinking it's all good, and next thing you know, some goddamn Sony or some shit, copyright strike your shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, shit. that's why, like, sometimes you got to get your shit made beforehand. Like, yeah. sometimes, like, if you get a beat and they got a sample in it, like, get that same producer to remake that shit without the sample. Mm-hmm. Like, just get, like, get paid for it. It could be a custom beat. That's yeah. all yours. Shit. Facts. Hell yeah. What you think about the TikTok rappers now? Bro, TikTok rappers. They ain't even SoundCloud rappers, though. It's TikTok rappers. Bro, I ain't gonna I fuck with it, though, but because it's like, Man, TikTok is going to be a new wave of generation. I think, like, eventually, I feel like eventually, like, in 10 years from now, or maybe less than that, SoundCloud might die. Yeah. You, you Would you say that? I mean, yeah. If if TikTok keep growing the way it is and just keep having niggas blow up and blow up, then everybody yeah. will stop fucking with SoundCloud. Because like, yeah. you got to think about it, everybody going to jump to the whoever, you know, like, for, for example, like, So Fuego, like, you know, Young Chris and all them SoundCloud artists, yeah. you know, they're going to follow, you know, you know, they follow the lead type shit. Everybody finna jump into TikTok and start. Yeah, they that can go to Twitch and them niggas will start going on. Like, them niggas just follow them. They got a dedicated fan base. Some mm-hmm. niggas just get fans, and then the fans just start having an ear for something else and just lose interest in them niggas in general. Like, you, yeah. you just got to have that shit to make them pick it up. I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. I, okay, I'm going to keep this nigga here. I'm going to keep this <laughs> to it. Yeah. What you like? You, you be on TikTok, though, right? Yeah. And what you be like? What you say, like, you try to pursue that, like, that, that path, like, being considered like a TikTok artist, I mean, if that shit, if that shit start making me like bread and start getting me real out there, mm-hmm. like then maybe, but I'm not going. Yeah, because I heard that's a thing, right? TikTok start paying like yeah. after a certain what, like yeah, I mean, but 
it's uh, I don't think they pay that much though, cause it's been oh. like you gotta have like viral videos every time you oh, drop okay. videos and like. Basically, like, like verify like a goddamn like you're already big and you come to TikTok and they start paying you for your content TikTok. Yeah, but actually, it's fire though. Yeah, like if you get a, enough of like followers on uh, TikTok and shit, mm -hmm. you won't even need to have no verification. They'll just give you the uh, creator funds yeah. and shit. And plus, you got to be like an adult, so shit. Yeah. Oh, for real. Yeah. I know. I just seen an article. Somebody posted that shit on some blog. They say uh, Instagram by the end of this year they're gonna start testing that shit out. Like Instagram paying people now. Oh yeah, yeah. Like for the content and yeah, you know I got that shit on my uh, my live videos and shit with yeah. the badges and all that and the yeah. donations. Not yeah. not even that. It's like I think like they I don't know if like Instagram with well, Facebook on fucking with well, Metaverse got down now. So that shit's weird. <laughs> 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 you know they I, you know they own Instagram, so I guess you know I guess it all comes down to Google because Google owns all that shit, man. Yeah. So Google I guess gonna start paying you know like you said people that's verified on Instagram do content you know like. Drop, you know, content every day type shit, so, you know. Yeah, them niggas gonna be, like, I know it's gonna be a lot of niggas gonna be top dog at that shit, because your engagement gotta be, like, on this amount, this amount, this amount. You gotta have, like, an average amount of likes, views, comments, and, like, shares and shit, so. I believe it's gonna come to the point where, like, you drop your, like, you know, you drop a video and it has your song on it, and if it play at least, like, 30 seconds of that song on your clip, it's gonna count in the stream. I believe that's gonna come. Yeah, I'm they, telling you, man, that, that they, shit. They gonna start doing that shit probably. Yeah, cause it's like nowadays, like how that sh music industry is working, they are trying to count everything as streams now. You know, like Facebook too, like everything. Like, yeah, that's yeah. why they that's why they start doing like them. Uh, that's why they was doing them bundle shits. Like you buy a uh, album and a whole bundle like with the merch and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, that shit doesn't count as a whole uh, view stream. It'll count as somebody buying that shit. Like, I heard crazy. they try to stop that shit because it's like this shit slick like cheating the system. I, I think after um I think who that was that did that shit Nicki Minaj I think yeah that six nine shit yeah, yeah they trying got them stop that shit they were like they try I don't know that shit stupid man that shit weird <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> what you been working on though music wise uh uh a lot of you know plug and be type shit like plug not it. regular type plug but like some some different shit I'm trying to merge like genres into each other type shit. Like what like a plug and fucking hyper pop type shit. Or? Yeah, like I wanna I wanna try to make some shit like that work out. And if it do work out, cause niggas wanna hear it and they know I could do the hyper pop shit good and yeah. the plug. So I wanna see if I can put that shit together. Like Fact. What made you even get into that route like hyper pop? Bro was it, was it more like I'm just gonna try that shit because it was like hot at that moment? Because I that's another like the hyper pop, that's that's another thing I just started slowly learning about too, you know? Like that shit just popped out of the blue and I was like, what the hell is hyper pop? And I started looking it up. Yeah, like uh, well, hyper pop. <clears throat> so I knew I knew about this shit. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to really do it like two and a half years ago, maybe. So yeah, like that. 2020. Yeah. Beginning of 2020, I started doing that shit. And. Niggas was like, oh, okay, this ain't no no regular type of hyper pop. This, this something different. I like this shit. Mm -hmm. And I just kept getting better and better at making it. Like, and I didn't think that I, I made all of these older songs back in like two years ago. Yeah. Cause I didn't think that they would blow up. So I was just dropping the bitches back it back back. Yeah. Next thing I know, two, three weeks later, and songs started blowing up in the fucking uh 2020, right? On the first day of Jan January 2021, a video of my song blew up. That shit, uh, Which he one? died. He died too. He died too. Yeah, that uh, that I need hope shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit blew up. That that's the one that started like getting more recognition and shit. Yeah, like cause the other ones had like 10k, 15k, mm -hmm. but when that shit hit like 40, 50k, mm -hmm. uh, niggas just started fucking with it. Scout edited to it. Uh, Shit, a lot like a lot of niggas started fucking with it. Who picked it up? That like made it, made it, made the goddamn stream shoot up. They like it was a certain somebody or it was just like you just going crazy with the promo. It not it wasn't even a promo, bro. Like when I drop music, mm -hmm. I don't promo. Mm -hmm. Like I know because I know my niggas got me. I got yeah. a, I got a certain amount of followers where I know when I drop a song, them niggas gonna stream. So I don't even have to buy no promo for nobody. I I just gotta post it. Like, okay, y'all want this later? I got y'all, and they'll yeah. stream it the same day. Uh, yeah, and it wasn't even. I think it was just the the person whoever like edited to the the song. Mm -hmm. That shit had like 125k likes in like a, right. a couple weeks, like maybe like two weeks. 
Then I just see the sound go crazy. Then niggas like, oh, who in the comments? Like everybody in the comments, like, oh, who made this song? Who made this song? I'm like, shit. You were tagging yourself with that? <laughs> like, shit, that's me, that, nigga. That. <laughs> go ahead, go like, me, you out there. Like, cause it's crazy too, cause when niggas hear a new type of sound, they was hating on it at first. Yeah. Cause they, everybody was like, oh, nah, what is, what is this nigga talking about? What is this nigga talking about? I wasn't even really talking about shit in the song. I was just <laughs> bullshitting. Yeah. I made this shit in 15 minutes. I didn't think it was gonna go that crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. So they don't fuck with that. And then like two months later, two or three months, everybody started fucking with the niggas in the comments replying to themselves like, oh, oh man, I was too harsh on this song. I had to, I had to <laughs> rethink about it. It grew on me, man. But now it be like that because when you, some people drop some music and like, you know, you just drop the audio, right? Boom. They'll yeah. listen to it like you said, oh man, that's your ass. But you put like a fire edit or, you know, a goddamn visual. Yeah. It's a whole different, you know, that shit go crazy, man. The people like, oh, okay, I get it now, you know. Hell yeah. Any new projects or anything coming up? Uh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So uh I was doing this, uh me and him got something coming. Mm -hmm. Collab tape? Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We don't got no name for it yet. We just kinda got like the idea and shit. We just gonna be fucking around with the effects and all that shit. Mm -hmm. We gonna be doing all type of shit. And I got a, a album coming. I don't know, like maybe March type shit. Uh yeah, I feel like, yeah, I should be able to release it in March because I had to scrap it and redo some songs and I had to, I lost some files and all that. So I was like, damn, I had to. What you mean you lost them? You did delete them accident or something? Like, shit? yeah, computer, my old computer got wiped. Ooh, so I shit. had none of my shit. Damn. So I was like, damn, I got to do some more. Hey, that what them hard drives come in handy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you got to start getting those bitches, man. You more like you finna start getting like into the NFT because I see a lot of artists now, like underground and mainstream artists, like starting to drop like NFT projects. I really don't get NFTs like that, but it's like I don't know, like you know, like, I guess that's the way right now with the NFTs. I don't know if y'all know too much of it, you know. I mean, yeah, I be mean, it's really not much. I can't really take you know NFTs and shit. Yeah, I I know about them. I don't know much. Like yeah. me neither. I just yeah, I know some some about it. You know, yeah, like. like I mean, I, all I can really say is them shits is just the same pick with just a different <laughs> shit on. <laughs> it's the same yeah, nigga bro. with different shit on. I mean, you selling it for about 30K. Like, that shit be like two bucks on the internet, but it come out to 45,000 or something. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> grab for that. <laughs> like, bro, you didn't see that one agent dude that um, took selfies for like a whole year and fucking posted that shit on as an NFT project and he made like $3.5 million off that shit? Oh it's God, like pictures. you said, just his face and every day it's a new shirt. <laughs> like what the fuck? Nah. Oh nah, God, nah. bro. Like he sitting right, like he ain't even got no phone, bro. It's like the webcam on his computer. He just sitting there, just taking a picture every day, bro. Nah, like niggas, see, like that is is easy it's weird, to make bro. money, bro. I feel like it's people goddamn cleaning their money, man. Like you know they got it, they got here. You know they digging that dirty money. Like man, I'm just finna drop fifty because when they see like. Cause the way NFT works, when they see like you drop big money on that, a lot of people gonna come follow. Up, like, oh, he just dropped fifty. I'm about to drop seventy now. Oh, you shit, know, and true. that helps that that project the value go up. You know, yeah. then you hold on to it, then you Somebody flip that, buy shit. that shit. Yeah, yeah, damn. Hell yeah. But like, if like if I knew how to really get into that shit, I mean, I'd get into it. But yeah. it's something crazy about that. I don't understand. Like them niggas be making a lot of money just for a picture. Picture. <laughs> Which all the niggas be doing with that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Put your goddamn albums, you know, mixtape covers or, you know, something out there, you know. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that shit. Any features or, like, collabs you you got, you know, in the works in the future or, or now? Bro, I was supposed to link with uh, Cash Dami, like, last year type shit. Last man. year? And I missed it because I wasn't in the city. I was trying to get back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn. So, I'm just waiting on bro to hit me back again so he get late. And he said, yeah. I guess... Uh, He's supposed to be uh, in New York soon, so shit. If he there, I'm going to try to link with him. So where are you spending most of your time right now? Like New York? Uh, nah, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. So you mean you feel like you're missing a lot of opportunity just staying in North Carolina? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, them niggas can really just pull up on me if they if they really got yeah. money like that and they trying to invest in me and do all this. And you, you can pull up on me because why yeah. am I spending all my money? What if I don't get accepted? Y'all fuck with me. <laughs> oh, I man. just came up here for nothing. 
Facts. Shit. Then sometimes be like, you know, some shit go left and you know, be like, hey, I can't do it today, you know. Yeah. I got it like, damn, they're like, damn, I just booked the flight for one day. <laughs> like, I'm here, I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> like, damn, boy. <laughs> like, I gotta go home tomorrow, man. Shit. Like, damn, bro. Like, if you ever near me or shit, I'm ever near you taking yeah. the trip, then yeah, we can link. But uh, if yeah. you trying to get me to go out there and then you dip out two hours later, what am I gonna do? Cause I already just wasting my money now. Facts. I've gotta go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, like, how would, how long would you say you've been doing music now? Uh, shit. Uh, since like before middle school, like middle school. Yeah, before middle school, cause I was like on an iPad, little nigga in the back room, the Apple uh, earphones, wire was nigga going crazy <laughs> with the microphone shit. Yeah, on swear to God, going crazy, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> going crazy, recording this shit. So, what? How long would you say that would been? Like, what? Five. Be like since I was about eleven, twelve, about uh, about seven, eight years, yeah, seven, eight years, yeah, Damn, yeah, man. yeah, like seven, like six, seven years. You feel like you accomplished a lot in them years? Hell yeah, cause I ain't never made that. I ain't never made this much money in my life with doing music when I was doing it for free. Like, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't make nothing when I was doing it for free. Now nah, I ain't doing it for free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you start realize, let me. All right, this is a question I always ask every artist. When do you like realize? Oh, I could finally start charging for you know people who like. Let me get a song, this type of show feature. When do you realize? Like, okay, I'm gonna start charging. Uh, you realize that when when if like niggas think you charge a lot, yeah. like when niggas <coughs> think you charge like a band or some shit, yeah. then you really can start charging. Cause what? nigga be the oh damn he charged. 3,000, let me just, I'll give him this 3K. <laughs> Meanwhile, I charge 300, nigga. Like, I'm just easily flipping this. Oh, yeah. You didn't, I told you, like, oh, what's your budget? Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you mine, because okay. I'm not trying to shit your pockets, but damn, bro, don't do it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Has somebody ever tried you with, like, some low shit, like 25, 20, or some shit like that? Nah, like. Well, I got 20 bro, for a feature. What I you'll get somebody for 25? For 25? <laughs> <laughs> a little earth. Little ad lib, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause nah, this one nigga, bro, I forgot his name, but he was trying to get me on some uh meme rap shit, like yeah. back when I was like doing that type shit, like uh -huh. yeah, just talk, like talking shit on the beats. Nigga was trying to get me on some racist shit. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I was like what, nigga? <laughs> Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want me to talk about what in the song, my nigga? He sent me the tracks and all that. So I'm like, yo, this nigga talking about doing shit with babies and all that. I'm like, hey, man. You better try to catch a charm. <laughs> and nigga, nigga was like, oh, yeah, bro, you come in that song. So I'm like, I'm not getting on this song, bro. And he sent me $5 for the song. Oh, hell no. Nah. $5. <laughs> It wasn't even 20. It was five. I was like, kept no five for Travis, man. <laughs> like, I swear, I swear, I kept that shit. I was like, nah, keep it pussy, bro. Keep that shit going, bro. This, man. Like, man, get your crazy ass off. Like, nigga, you, you, got, you got to be out of your mind. This nigga was saying all type of shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I see this vibe. <clears throat> I see the viral tweet that was going on. Some dude was like, hey, man, I give you like, because I guess he work at a meat factory. He, and he rap and he told his one producer, he like, hey, man, I'll give you some beats, like, you know, for some beats type <laughs> shit. <laughs> i like, I ain't going to lie, I'll take that shit, man. Food getting expensive nowadays. Hey, man. Man. I'll take that shit because, man, I'd be like, give me some steak because you know steak go for a lot of money now. Yeah, yeah, and just be like, oh, yeah, nigga, I'm finna get, give me that steak and all that shit. I'm finna give you a little stupid ass little feature. I'm finna say, yeah, 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 whole time, nigga, you ain't even finna get that shit. <laughs> They're crazy right now. Yeah, because, like, you know, like, I was just telling you about the features and shit like that. Like, well, like, all right, like, okay, you say when people finally start asking you, like, okay, I, you charge a thousand, three hundred. Like, how do you, like, I know you say you say you start, like, asking them, like, um, for the budget, right? Like, what's your budget? Do you just got on your head, like, rip? Like, you go by the song, be like, okay, I'm going to charge him two hundred because that shit, like, is all right. But, you know, like, this song ad, I'm going to just charge him, like, five hundred. Do you go by that or you just... uh? Sometimes, like, cause depending on who it is, cause mm -hmm. sometimes the, some of them niggas who be wanting features be like, look, look 14, oh, yeah, yeah, 15 yeah, yeah. year olds sometimes. And I'll be like, damn, I ain't finna, I ain't finna hurt your pockets like that. Yo, I know yeah. you probably don't got no job and shit. So I'm gonna just like, give him a little 50, 60 dollars each. Like, give you about 30 seconds and that's it. <laughs> but like, if the song is ass, then bro, I can't, nah, I can't, can't, I can't be like, oh, bro, I'm gonna give you like this and this. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with him. 
<laughs> like if the beat shit ain't it, I'm like, like man, you gotta do something about that. I can do a yeah. different beat for you. Like, do, do you limit your collabs every year, or you just don't? You just collab with, like you know, do get on like it's like for example, people pay pay you for features. Do you like is it limited for you every year, or you got like or you put a limit to it, like I only gonna do thirty this year? Nah, nah, it ain't no limit. I yeah. made I made a lot of damn features. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a uh, like. Yeah, it was hella features with me uh, last year and coming this year. Shit, I already started some this year with some features. <laughs> yeah, I'm going hard already. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard one of your songs like in somebody else's song? They were like, how the fuck you get my goddamn, my verse or some shit? Uh, like sometimes I be hearing like, not like my songs type shit, but mm-hmm. I'm like, I be hearing niggas do the same flow or mm-hmm. the same type of thing that I do in the song. Yeah. I be like, damn, that. That's mine. That's mine, ain't it? Like mm-hmm. shit, cause it was uh, it was some nigga. I forgot who it was, but damn, he was like, we took your flow type shit. Yeah, like it. He cloned y'all at basically. <laughs> <laughs> that, like uh, <laughs> it was a different beat, but yeah. this nigga had the same flow and cadence, but mm-hmm. the lyrics was just a little bit different. And I, I can hear. I was like. This sounds just like the little hyper pop shit I did. Mm-hmm. And then niggas be like, oh yeah, I got inspired by you. So I'm gonna use this song. I'll be like, damn, I heard this beat before. I did not buy this beat already. Like, y'all niggas heard me use this beat. So what's going on? <laughs> they got them recycling beats and yeah. verses and all that shit, man. That shit yeah, crazy. I did that shit one time. <laughs> I, re- I recycled my verse. Well, who? <laughs> <laughs> like you were like the verse. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you ain't the only one that did that shit though. There's a lot of artists that be doing that shit. Yeah, it was for it was for a little nigga, bro. It was like he was like he 13 and shit, and he from the UK. Yeah. And he was like he was like, yo, bro, I'm one of your biggest fans, bro. I fuck with you heavy. And I was like, oh, worry, worry. He was like, ah oh, man, I really want to get you on the song. I'm like, ah oh, shit, bet. Send me some. He was like, oh, like, oh yo, you serious? I'm like, alright. I'm like, yeah, send me some shit. Did it for free. And it was the same beat that I had used uh-huh. and from like four months ago. So I just uh-huh. used the same shit from the song. <laughs> like, hey, you can have the free shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro. Hey, I'm going to just drop that shit on there. You got it. Don't yeah. even worry about it. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. <laughs> have, you, um, have you performed? Like, you going to perform anytime, anytime soon? Wait, on 2022? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We was uh, like, before we came up here type shit, we was... Looking into like uh places to have a venue at. Talking about Atlanta? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. And cause we got I know we got hella niggas here. So mm-hmm. so I know we could do a little show type shit, you know? Oh yeah, sure. It ain't it ain't gonna be there though. Cause you know we about to have a big ass show, I think next month on the fifth with um Slump and um shot I forgot um Kobe, a lot of people. Somebody just put like and I think Autumn coming down here too. I think that much too. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the yeah. show. My uh, my man's was talking. Yeah, yeah my man's yeah. was talking about that show. It's a lot of people, you know, goddamn friends start having big shows down here in Atlanta, especially the underground and shit. Yeah, shit, bro. If I ever get booked with them niggas, bro, I, I'm showing out. <laughs> what would you say your fan base like more at? Uh, I know I got I got niggas in I got niggas in Atlanta, got niggas in New York, I got niggas overseas, I got niggas everywhere basically, but. Yeah. It's growing every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get more and more in places so I can start going places and doing shows and shit. Right. Fucking with people like, hey, you, you want to do a show here? Let me, y'all come over. I do a show type shit. You should start building your own shows type shit. You know? Yeah. Just get like, don't get too many artists because I be seeing some flyer they be having like thirty fucking people on the list. Like, man, nah, that nah. shit not gonna work. How y'all think that shit's gonna work? Nothing's gonna be on time. Yeah, if we that did shit. if we did a show like that, we wouldn't have no thirty niggas. Like yeah, like, I think like ten is the limit, you know. Like, yeah, make make them good, and like you know, like you make yourself the headliner. <laughs> yeah, and if them right. niggas got good songs, they'll yeah, had the crowd hype. Hell yeah, hell yeah, that shit right now. And like um, like what was what would you say is like your mission for like you know this year? Like what would you want to accomplish? Oh, this year. Uh, Cause I would say we still, we we still in the beginning. Hell yeah, yeah. We still like, the first one. Like, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get like a video with Cole Bennett, bro. And Cole Bennett, Cole Bennett, crazy. Cause I know as soon as you get like, I don't care what song you get like a video for, 
you gonna blow up on Cole Bennett. Like, oh, definitely. Hell yeah. I don't care if the song ass or everybody fuck with it. And you, you still get viewed and looked at. Facts, because you, now you don't even gotta look at the views. You gotta think about who really looks at that shit. It could be like fucking labels, you know, ARs. Like, you know, they be like, That's what I'm who saying, the fuck yeah. Is it? You know, they pay attention to people like Cole Ben and other, like, big, you know, goddamn filmers and shit. Like, you know, they got a, a, a fan base like you know, like Cole Ben, you know? Yeah. Just like how how you gonna do Yeet. You know, you might do Yeet shit. That shit finna go crazy, man. Like, he finna help push Yeet to another whole fucking level type shit. Just how he did so fuego and, you know, uh, Cash Dami, Baby Santana and all them, you know? And that's another accomplishment I want. I'm trying to get a fucking, I'm trying to get a song with Yeet, man. Yeah. Like, on a what? On a hyper pop song? What you say? Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't think you're gonna do the hyper pop. <laughs> yeah, nah. I, I stopped doing that hyper pop shit like, like last year, last around year. November. I ain't dropped no hyper pop song. What made you no. stop? It got tired. Like, I got tired of that. Cause the hyper pop nigga, they, they cool and all, but the shit be, it be getting weird to a point. Like, some of them niggas in the community, mm -hmm. they be, they be cool with you, then go to another hyper pop artist, and they could be bigger than you. Like they be like, "Oh yeah, you know, I heard this about this and this and that. you know, like just spouting shit." Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't fuck with that. Like that shit. Was, was, I only know two that like really kind. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say like mainstream, but like they they blew off that shit. On um, what's the name from Atlanta? On um, Eric, I think it's Eric. What's his name? Eric D. Some shit. I don't fucking know. I think that was his name, man. Like he wanted like, I know it's me. I know it's me on um, Wes and. The other dude, damn, Glavani or some shit. Glave. Glave, yeah. yeah. And the other dude is Eric, Eric or some shit. I don't know. But people probably gonna be in the comments. Like, what oh, the yeah, fuck yeah, you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. You talking about uh uh like that nigga. His name used to be Dante Reyes, like Eric Dolan or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. damn, that's who the fuck I was trying to say right there. People gonna be like, what the fuck he said? <laughs> it's crazy cause he hit me for an interview like a long time ago, but I didn't understand. that's the time I understand hyper pop. <laughs> I'm like mm. I didn't really say nothing back to him. I'm like, next thing you know, like six months later, like, bro, goddamn, took off, you know, like, oh, that's crazy right there. Yeah. But hell yeah, man. So you stopped doing the hyper pop. You just kept what, like, plug? Yeah. I mean, like, hyper pop shit. I mean, I could do it. I can make it and, like, keep it on my shit. I'm not dropping it right no now. Yeah. I mean, just consistently going back to the plug shit and the other rapping shit. Like, what would you say you, you make better music? Hyper pop or plug? <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, cause it's like both ways is uh -huh. good music. Like to the hyper pop niggas, it's good. It's good yeah, music, yeah. and to the other niggas, it's good music, but it's just not their taste. So yeah. I mean, I feel like I do better with the regular shit, cause like my voice ain't you no know, sped up yeah. glitches and all that shit. Yeah. They ain't talking about oh who this on the song. I thought he was white, you know, like, <laughs> type shit. Like, <laughs> Hey, he's doing that. <laughs> like, nah, they, they, bro, them niggas was talking but, about, oh, I thought she was 13. So I let me ask you this, how like, do you perform a fucking hyper pop song? <laughs> like, yo, the sugar dude. Because <laughs> 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 like, that shit be spared out like crazy. So I always wonder, like, I ain't never seen nobody perform a, a hyper pop, to be honest, bro. Like, matter of fact, I'm going to Google it. I be like, go YouTube that shit, because... <laughs> I want to see somebody perform some shit like that, bro. Like, I think, like, what I'm going to do, I'm not finna be out there hitting <laughs> fucking breakdance moves and shit. I'm finna be out there going to the beat. I ain't going to them glitches and all that shit. Y'all niggas be spazzing out the crowd, y'all, so. <laughs> hey. <That> crazy, yeah. <laughs> this shit crazy right now. But hell yeah, the um the album March, right? What you say, um, what's the title? Uh, it's called Lucy's Trip, bro. Lucy's what? Trip. Trip, yeah, like a goddamn LSD type shit. Trip. Yeah, type shit. It ain't gonna be no like no no weird shit. Yeah, like, it might be like one little hyper pop shit. I ain't gonna you no know, dabble too much in that weird shit. No yeah, more. I try to get back on the regular shit. Like. Features or you just gonna be solo dolo on the album? Uh, yeah, a couple features. I'm trying to get um, uh, I'm trying to get hit back by fucking SSG Kobe's people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Santana, like I ain't talked to Santana in a long ass time. <laughs> Ever since like, like the day, or, like two, three days after that nigga blew up, I stopped talking to him. And we stopped communicating, type shit. I was like, damn. And he, he was he was going up too though. Yeah, I ain't even that far now. He was from Atlanta when he was goddamn. I forgot where the hell he was at with that shit. Uh, 
He did an interview with somebody, and he was like, oh, I'm from, well, like, ain't not Atlanta, but it's, like, real close to Atlanta. Like, it's in Georgia, though. Hell, yeah. Like, damn, that motherfucker blew up like crazy. <laughs> yeah, the bro went crazy. I'm proud of that, man. He, he been doing good shit. Hell, yeah. What, like, so, what, like, you said, like, you, you trying to plan, like, how many tracks would you say you're going to have on the album? Uh, shit, at least, at least up to 15. 15. I'm not trying to give nobody like a little short album because niggas been waiting for a whole year. A whole year, <laughs> yeah. For <an> album, <clears throat> like I dropped, uh, I dropped the album, but I ain't really fuck with it. Like all uh, platforms, yeah. All platforms, yeah. But like Apple was crazy because like I tried, I submitted, like I submitted this shit twice. It uploaded and the uh, second time it submitted. Mm-hmm. The first one got fucked up, so I it's only like it's on Spotify and everything else, but it's not like on. Apple, yeah, type shit. Yeah, it's not. It's not gonna show up on Apple. It show up on Spotify and everything else, but not Apple. Because it was like, it was like, oh, did you already release this? And I was like, nah. <laughs> it <laughs> fucked up. It fucked up my first release because yeah. I tried to cancel the second. One. I was like, damn, like I can't even get my shit on Apple no. <laughs> damn. Like, like, I'm just yeah. Apple was more stricter than got no Spotify type shit. Cause Spotify got some glitches. Like you could literally put like fucking, um, you could put like you know a song that you made. Put like feature Lil Uzi. Oh yeah, <laughs> they gonna pop you up in little Uzi category like that's fucking crazy. I didn't see somebody get clout off that shit like that's fucking crazy, bro. A, a nigga just did that to uh my homeboy Pay, bro. Overpay. Somebody just did that to that nigga. It was like a whole list full of niggas of who's on the song, and they wouldn't need nobody on the song. <laughs> for real, that shit crazy right there. Man, that shit crazy right now for real. So what else you got like in store for like you know, twenty twenty two? Uh, we doing shows, music videos, shit. We go up enough, we gonna start touring, and doing hella shit. Mm-hmm. That's, it's all about the the growth, bro. It's all about the work and the growth. We gotta work day by day. Work day by day. And for the people, you know, that watching and like, you know, coming up too, like, what would you give them some advice on like coming up? Stay in your lane type shit. <laughs> Stay by yourself, nigga. Just <laughs> don't get yourself involved with no internet drama, no internet friends that's rappers. Because if you get too close with them, they'll start giving you some motherfucking deep ass secrets and all that shit. Y'all niggas fall out. Yada, yada. Y'all start talking shit to each other. Nah, I don't want to do none of that. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, Motherfucker, you used to steal from God. <laughs> <laughs> like, motherfucker, you was living on the goddamn floor. It's like, like what, what happened? <laughs> Your bum man was asking me for $20. <laughs> like, damn, what the hell? Where this come from, man? Shit. Like, that's why when you do have friends who make music and when you do have niggas like that, you can't. Don't yeah. be on no overstepping boundaries. and You got to stay on people's good side. You can't just be talking shit and going off like a hothead and doing whatever. Can't be thinking you better than everybody else, cause a nigga will come at home but you quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like I don't like I don't like when that shit happen, cause I I ain't like doing that shit. I ain't like getting humble, cause I'm humble. <laughs> I don't right. want no nigga to try to little bro me, cause I'm chilling myself. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about the um, council culture right now? That like you know a lot of people getting canceled for allegations or like you know shit that they tweeted from like you know as they being a kid, goddamn you know they could have been like. Fuck body sorry cause she white. <laughs> you know, boo boy, you castle, boy. It's over. It. <laughs> bro, it's nah, over. Like, it. It's over for your career, man. You better wear. That shit, bro. You know it'd be stupid shit like that though, you feel me? Yeah. Be like, that was just an example. I don't mean that shit though for real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I understand what you're yeah. saying, but like that's just if niggas will let that get them canceled, you, yeah. you can't be canceled until you go away. Like them niggas can't cancel you unless you gone. And yeah. if you just stay there, you continue to do the same shit that you've been doing. If you change from the person that you was before, then you don't even gotta worry about what happened in the past. If you was a kid in the past talking shit, nigga, you just talking shit, I was talking shit. Fact. I was bro, I used to get on songs and say anything, my nigga. Like I ain't even, like I didn't care. I was on all type of shit. But I changed and I got better. I was like I can't be talking all type oh, yeah. of reckless because I'm growing, I'm growing, and niggas is listening. They be like, man, we can't be having my homies. I can't be having my son listening to that. <laughs> like niggas be telling me they make their mom listen to my shit. I'm like, yo, 
I'm glad I wasn't like that before because y'all about would be able to stand my shit for 10 seconds. <laughs> Facts. Oh, definitely. Hell yeah, man. So, you know, nowadays, like you said, you're getting older, so you realize what, you know, what you, you got you to gotta watch what you say, especially you can't touch topics where, like, man, sh- like certain topics, like, you know, it gets you kind of fucking quick, like, the, you know, the LGTB community. And yeah, that, bro, that's a, that's when we really can't go nowhere about. <laughs> we don't like, even, I don't even want to speak on that on a positive note because they turn everything into something bad. So, I don't want to. Like, um, he said, "L what?" <laughs> like, oh. hey, he, said, he said, "L what?" <laughs> Who taking the L? Nah. <laughs> I'll be like, bro, I respect all y'all. Just I'm not going at y'all no type of way. If you don't come at me no type of way, I don't have nothing against so your sexuality or identity. None of that. Facts. Hell yeah. yeah. Like you, human too, nigga. We all bleed the same. You don't identify as the same thing I do, but nigga, you bleed. <laughs> Most definitely. What's a one, one, one more one more question before we head out? What's um like? What's a mistake you learned from the music industry that you ain't gonna do no more, or that you want to give somebody advice so they won't do that same mistake? Uh, before like, it's like it's it about is. like who you hang with, like, like who yeah. you associate yourself with, mm-hmm. and in in music you got to associate yourself with the right people because if you associate yourself with the niggas who going to let you continue to do what you do, pop pills, do all the things that you do, mm-hmm. that's just going to cause you to die. Like, And sometimes it's a different situation because some niggas can have help but just don't want help and they do the shit anyway. Mm-hmm. And I have, I got respect for them because they trying. I mean, they're shit, try, yeah. they made it this far. But just they can't let, can't let this music shit... Take your mental health down. Whenever you need a break, nigga, take a break. Right. If you feel like you ain't doing the best, just get back in the booth, nigga. Get back in the lab and practice. Show these niggas that you can do it. Most definitely. Hell yeah, man. You got to take, like you say, you got to take that break, man. When you f- can't stretch yourself, you got to too far, man. Exactly. Hell yeah. Where can they find you, like, all social media platforms? Shit, uh, everything, sad boy, shit. YouTube, Sad Boy Shack, Instagram, Sad Boy Shack, Twitter, same thing. Shit. Basically, yeah, I got all my other social media on there, too. Uh, I got a lot of other shit that I don't use, but... <laughs> yeah. I got them, though. The TikTok, you got TikTok? Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, Sad Boy Shack as well. Hell yeah, man. SoundCloud, Sad Boy Shack, all that, nigga. For the um, unreleased music, you know, sound um, not SoundCloud, um, OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, that be fire though. Hey, that's hey, that sounded like the mood though. Yeah. That might be the mood. <laughs> OnlyFans for the with snippets and now, cause you dropped the whole fucking links. I mean, not the you know like an unreleased song. That shit, you know, you know they might got down sit down start selling that shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cause <laughs> I I ain't even really finished doing what I wanted to do to that song. Yeah, I just I just kept that shit down. I'm like, damn, I'm thinking about like putting that shit up so I can finish doing this shit to it or I'm just keep it like this because they fuck with it. Yeah. And like, I'm, it's cool though, shit. Hell yeah, man. And all, bro, all my niggas, like, without my fans and without my homies like this nigga and my other niggas, bro, I wouldn't be here. I would like, I wouldn't be, I'd be somewhere else. I wouldn't be rapping though. You need that support, <laughs> goddamn. You need that support system for real, for real. Well, you know, man, appreciate you for coming down here and showing love to the podcast, man. Ain't no doubt, bro. Hope to see you in the show in the future, man. Yeah, yeah. We out.